You'll have in all that as an intention. Deep breath, sound, those words will color as a breathe in as positive. Let's do one more breath before we start. Exhale to prepare. Breathe in through the nose, up the spine. Hold the breath in, relax in the back, feel the back. And then breathe in out, we just say that all the so mentally. Breathe in out, down your spine. Open your arms, your eyes are going close. Breathe in, lift them up, stretch them up. Look up, let the head drop. That's your breath in. Breathe out, drop the arms down, drop the head down. And just let your shoulders plug into your arms. Don't let them ride up. Do that again. Breathe in, lift the arms up, look up. Breathe in out. Drop the head. Push the shoulders away from your waist. Don't let them ride out. Take the tips to the earth. Last one. Breathe in it. Lift the arms up. Interlace the fingers this time. Press the palms up towards the sky. Look forward. Keep your arms in line with your ears and just hold it there. Draw little circles of your palms. So you're going just moving your arms. Circle to the right back. Left foot and forward. Two more. Breathe in it as you go back. Right foot, left foot. One more. Can you go the opposite way? Breathe in. Try not to move your head. Just put your arms, your chest, your rib cage might move a little bit. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Love you. Just breathe in back to center as you breathe out. Drop the arms, the right arm down. Remember, I'm here with you. We're going towards the left, towards the right side. Sorry, with the left arm. Drop the head, let it just hang. Remember, your blood is first. Just let it hang today. Breathe in. Now, as you breathe out, so you can bring that bottom shoulder forward and the back shoulder, or the top shoulder back. Point your nose to the front if you can, just for today. Breathe in and out. See so if you can bend, soften that right elbow and slide the right shoulder down. Good. And when you're ready, come back up. Breathe in, change the arms around today, straight away. Lift the right arm up, stretch it towards the left. See with your left arm, walk your fingertips and then bend your elbow in. So try not to bend it like that. Bend it in, slide the shoulder down and then melt the head. Try to get to your right arm behind your ear one day. Stretch your right elbow. And now just breathe. Breathe into your right lung. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Think of the word breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in. Come back to centre. Breathe out. Drop the arm down. Great. Just bring your hands forward straight away. Come on, your hands and knees. Let's work the core a little bit today. So you're going to push the knees away from the floor, hug the stomach back, breathe out, open the nose, long neck, and then we then drop the knees back down. And we'll do that about five more times. So breathe out into a tabletop with the shins above the floor, an inch, not more. Breathe out and drop. Remember to hug your stomach back. So as you breathe out, think of it as lengthening a little bit the bum the spine, but pointing the tailbone down towards your heels. Breathe in. Breathe out as you lift, yeah? Breathe in. Drop. Let's do two more, a little bit faster. Breathe out. Breathe in. Can we lift and stay up? You've got two choices. You can stay with your knees down and do this movement. Yeah? Child's pose and then back into the force. Or you can try and do it with your shins hovering above the floor. That's where the full work comes in. So your shins are always hovering and inch. And you're coming to a child's pose. Full hip to move as much as you can with your shins hovering above the floor and inch still. But then you can see it, that that's the position. You see about a fixed. And then breathe in, come back to centre. We try that again. Remember, you can keep your knees down if not. Just come to a child's pose, rock back. If you can, pop the knees up all the time. Breathe in, back to centre. We're going to do three more. And go back. 
child's rooms, over it, and that's the center of the shoe. Over and still. And again, back, two more. And inhale, last one. We hold it in that child's first knee lifted if possible. So hold it eight seconds. Seven, six, five. Pull the knee four. Put the throw with the hands. Two and one. Now you drop the knees down to the floor. That's it. If they're not there, breathe your chest and chin towards the earth. Two, so you're coming sliding forward into a little cobra. Breathe and feet together. Open the chest. Squeeze the elbows back. Look up. Stretch up. Hold it there. No grips on the hands. Squeeze as much as you can. The hips down. Feet down. Pull the heart up. Keep breathing. Inhale. Go. Exhale. Great. For example, there's a mind. Breathe in it. Breathe in out. That's it. One. Three back. Four head down. Press the floor away. Maybe a plank. Maybe a child's pose. See how you want to go into your first downward dog. And just puzzle it out. Bend one leg. Stretch the other. And then change it around. And shake your head. Say no. Say yes. Make sure that your chin isn't too far towards your chest here. Sometimes I feel I'm doing that, so don't let that happen. Try and get your head or your ears in line with your arms, and your head just dropping heavy. Looking at your feet, at your belly button, close the eyes if not, and just breathe there. Try and hold that position, squeeze this tailbone up towards the sky, the stomach in. Squeeze, mula bamba, keep breathing. Push your armpits towards your ankles. Do one more breath there. Breathe in it. Find legs. Breathe out. On your next breath out, you're going to roll into a plank. Roll into it. Exhale. Breathe in. Come into a downward dog leg. Breathe in. Stretch back. Let's do that two more times. Breathe out. Roll forward. Good. Breathe in. Stretch back. We're doing one more, then we're doing elbow lifts. So breathe out as you roll. Okay, elbow lifts. You want to try and keep your nipples, so say, or chest pointing the ceiling towards the uh, floor. But you're lifting your elbow towards the ceiling. And drop. Yes, change it around. Up, keep your nipples facing down. Don't twist your chest and keep changing. Ten seconds. Ten. Breathe out. Breathe in. Nine. Eight, seven, change it round and we do the same one, that's it. Five more, try not to move your chest, keep pointing forward with your hips, your shoulders. We've got two last ones. One more. Knee to chest, chin or full chaturanga, hover if you can, slide forward, interlace the fingers behind your back or reach your arms back, whatever feels better from your back. If you interlace and try and stretch your elbow, open the chest. Maybe lift the legs up this time. Hold it there. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you've got two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think of the word. One more breath. Breathe in. One word. One you've chosen. Breathe out the other. Let go. Pull head down. Press the floor away. Plank. Plank to your downward dog. Bounce it back. Feet together, maybe. Try and do little bounces. Let's say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift the right leg all the way up, guys. Try and stretch it up so it's a three legged dog, so the hip's not opening. Push the right hip down, flex the heel, and try and push the heel up a little bit more. The left heel down. Push your right armpit towards the floor, hold it there. And then on your next exhale, step forward into your warrior one. So it's not a very big step, it's the right leg. Lift the arms up, pick your head up, find your warrior one. I'll mirror you here. Bend the front leg, that's your exhale. Bend a little bit and then stretch a little bit. We're doing four more. So as you exhale, you're bending, breathing. Feel stretching. Three more. Be gentle, yeah? Exhale. Bring that left shoulder forward, left hip forward, breathe it. Stretch. 
exhale back, inhale stretch, exhale back, inhale stretch, we're going to stay stretched but you want to maybe walk the back foot a little forward so you can really square your hips off, don't let that left hip pop back, square them forward, breathe in here, as we breathe out, see so you can dive down, dive down like we do in Pilates, roll the spine, and try and get your hands on blocks, and we have done this in our yoga classes, you can never one up to now, on blocks, on cushions, or bend your front knee to get your hands to the floor, and keep your spine wants to be a C shape, like your Pilates C shaped spine, one day your forehead touching your knee, so bend your knee to get it there, Keep breathing, choke the throat in order to really work that thyroid gland, really compress it. Keep breathing then. I'll count in seconds. Four more seconds. Three, two, one. Hold it, breathe there. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your spine, and see if you can step yourself back. So you're just lengthening into a little lunge, lifting the back heel up and stepping back. Hover or tap around around your chest and see what you want to do. Slide forward. We're coming up three times. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe in out as you come down. Come as far up or as low as you want. Even if you do come up far, if you're flexible, try and keep your elbows micro bent and hugging in. So you're working still your arms, your back. And then as your third one goes down, flex the feet, push the floor away. And downward dog, bounce it back. 10, let me see it this side, 9, 8, 7, so downward dog for 5, 4, okay, ground the right heel down, it's the left leg that we're going to lift up, into a three legged dog, so you're lifting up, but not opening the shoulder, dropping that left shoulder down, dropping the left hip, flex the foot to push the heel up. Hold it there, really try and squeeze all your glutes, stretch the knee, three more seconds, two, and one, step that left leg forward, find your warrior one, don't have it too wide, narrow your, your back leg out so you can control your hips, so you're pushing your back hip forward, that's the right one, and your left hip down and back. That's usually how you find your hips to be a little bit squarer. Bring your right shoulder forward and just breathe here. Your arms can be together, palms, or separated if you feel your shoulders are niggling. Now breathe in, stretch the leg, breathe out, bend it, and be, just be gentle with it. Just test and see how far you want to go. That's two exhales. We've got three more. Breathe in as you stretch, breathe out as you bend. Breathe in as you stretch. Two last ones. Breathe out as you bend. As you bend, keep thinking of the back leg. I swear it's the one that's going to keep you strong. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend. Back leg is stretched. Push that heel. And then stretch both legs. Dive down. So roll down. Not in a block. Narrow the stance if you have to. I definitely do. And then roll down. Yes, Squeezing your pubic bone towards your chin, that's the feeling. Push your right, your left hip back, your right hip forward. Get your hands on whatever works for you. And your knees you have to, forehead to knee. So your left knee is bent till your forehead gets as close as your body can get to it. Ideally you're compressing also the third eye. So that's another point you want to try and work on. Keep breathing now. Breathe out. Two more. Breathe in, one word or a colour. Breathe out. That's two. One last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's three. Great. Now just hold that position. Just try and stretch your spine from here. Lift the back heel up so you're in a lunge. That's it. And push yourself back. Float. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, lift three times. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's one. Breathe in. Micro bend those elbows. Open the chest. That is two. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flex. Push. 
Feet together, maybe bounce to ten. Downward dog bounces. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great. Lift the right leg up. Three legged dog, just like before. Try and stretch the knee for four seconds. Three, two, one. Bend the knee now. Take it towards the left side of your mat. Open the hip, but not the shoulder. One day, try and look under your left armpit towards your right foot. Hold it there. Lift that knee up a little bit more. Get lighter the more you lift. That's it. Good. And then when you're ready, step it forward into your warrior two. So that's the right leg forward, warrior two. So windmill your left arm, then your right, and find that strong position. Same thing. Stretch the arms up, breathe in, breathe out. Look to the right arm, middle finger, say that word maybe. Again, breathe in, it's four more time. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We hold that bent leg position and just come into a side angle. So start with your elbow right to where your inner thigh is. And then reach your arm up today, up towards the sky. Try and push your elbow, that's the right elbow, into your right inner thigh, but also the right inner thigh into the elbow. And try and twist your ribs to the ceiling. Look up, chin in line with your left shoulder. Stretch your fingers, but keep your fingers together. Hold it there. Four, squeeze the glutes now. Push your left hip down as the left rib goes up for four more seconds. Three, one, lovely, hold it there, breathe in, and as you breathe out, right hand on the floor, right knee on the floor, side plank. If you're comfortable on your side plank, stretch both your legs, if not, keep your knee down, it's going to be eight seconds, try to flex both your feet, so that you're like literally standing on the side wall, look up, push those hips up, four, three, two, one. When you're ready, come into your plank. From your plank, do your choice of chaturanga. On this chest chin. Inhale, come up. Breathe in and come up. Breathe up, drop down. Two more. Breathe in, try and micro bend those elbows. Exhale, that's two. Think of the word breathe in, good. Breathe in out, great. We'll press the floor away, plank. Downward dog. A little bounce it. Same thing, other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that long spine. Lift the left leg up. Three legged dog. It's four seconds. Left leg up. Once you fold it for four, three, two, one, bend the knee. And let the foot go towards the right side of the mat, but don't let the shoulder go with it. Push the left shoulder down. Lift the knee up, go on a little bit higher. I promise it gets lighter the more you lift it. Four more seconds there. Push in now, the shoulder down. That's the left one, looking under your right armpit towards the foot. And then step forward with that left leg. Windmill your right arm, your left forward two. Exhale, breathe in. Breathe out. Then try and make it flow. Breathe in, stretch. Breathe out. You're looking forward, middle finger. Breathe in. You're looking sideways, arms by your ears. Two more. Breathe in up. Breathe in. in. Last one. Breathe out. Hold it there. Careful with the tailbone. Make sure it's lengthened. And that left knee, you're pushing it back. Come into your side angle. So if you see me forward, front right, your left knee is bent right over the left ankle and then you're pushing your left elbow against that inner thigh. Lift the right arm up, look up if you can, try and grow out of your hips and twist towards your right thigh, towards the ceiling. Twist that right rib around but push the right hip down. 
Go on four seconds there. Breathe deep into that right lung, into the core. Slide the tailbone down still, ground the feet. Go on, two seconds. One second. And drop the hand down, that's the left one. The left knee can go down or straight into your side plank. Square the hips to the front, squeeze the bottom Once side of your body and free up. The living so we engage that, the stretch up today, those hips, that right hip, lift it up, even more seat. towards the seam. That's it, Eddie. The Push your hips forward, shoulders back, hold coast. it there. Look up if you can, lift the leg if you want. Again, Four, rivals for their daily three, food. two, one. Hands into your plank, chaturanga of choice. Down, inhale, think of your word. Breathe out, drop it down. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hover. Snare in the meshes. Back. back. Ten little bounces. Ten. If he fails, he may die with Eight. a net as a tangled Seven. shroud. Six. If he succeeds, Five. the net Four. will be torn or swept Three. away. Two. One, hold it there. Okay, lift it. The right leg up. We've got the other side to do. So we've got one more sequence, right and left. For the yeah. Hard -working lift up three legged the dog. Damage is time and then and open the hip. At the peak of the fishing Go season. into your one thing if you want. You can put the left foot on the right side of the mat. Or the right foot, sorry, on the left side of the mat. In the coastal and reach villages. Up or all the way the back, Calypso see where you want to go. Find Lift the hips up, the heart up, be careful with that shoulder, push the floor away. Four seconds, four, four three, two, come back in one. So whether you've held it here, three-legged dog or turn the whole way down, come forward with that right foot into your warrior one again. So you're gonna breathe and lift and find straight away your warrior one. Okay, hold it here, stretch now the front leg again, lengthen by pushing the right, the left arm up and the right arm behind your hips. If I go sideways, my right leg. Right arm behind, left arm up. Yeah, so from here, try and come down in a straight position and I always need to bend my front leg. So I don't go forward, I go back with my weight as I do that. Can you see that? Just try and find a flat back, hold it here. Four seconds, push the weight into the back leg. That's gonna save you when you learn how to do that. That's it guys. Three, two, see if you can put your left hand on your right thigh. Push it away and then push on to your lumbar spine with your right hand and try and twist into that position. Hold it there, push that right hip back towards the back of your mat. Four more seconds, we're nearly there. Three, two, one. And drop the body down, step back. Find your position, your chaturanga. Knees, chest, chin if you want to, lift up. Look up, breathe that word, don't forget about it. Exhale down, that's one. Breathe it, lift up. Breathe out, that's two. Breathe it, open the chest as you lift up. Side the shoulders down. And float, push. Plank into your downward dog, bounce it. We've got the left side to do. Remember to have a break when you need it, but it's the last sequence before we get stretching. So we're nearly there. Well done. We had a nice practice and nice the end of the journey from the great And it's lakes only, the sea. yeah, we've got a the few Saint things Lawrence to do, River but that's the hard part. Kind of getting started, it. right? Getting the muscles. The watery to domain. Down. Which all things are blue. When you're ready, let's go back. Seem no more than fans. Let's go for it. Three legged dog, four seconds. Find the difference. Three, two, one. Now, bend the knee. Remember, you can stay here, especially if you've just started. Maybe you've just been a downward dog, even, and just holding it. And just talking through your progressions. Drop the left foot to the right side if you want to take it into the world thing. Bend both knees, push both feet down, and lift your heart up. Keeps the vigil on each up, a little easier. The helmsman back. steers the course. A little harder. Sunny. Only the radar is a popping impulse. You can take it to a wheel. Well done, Remember that turn. Your buoy 
with this song, you need to turn it so your fingers point towards your heels. That's the whole tricky part. Yeah, I know. Take it easy. Come back when you're ready. Lift the leg up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go in one. Lift the heart up. Find your warrior one first. We need time to steady in those feet. Push the left hip back, the right hip forward. Breathe into it. Hold it there. Now lengthen. Stretch both legs. Maybe narrow your stance. And it's going to be the left arm behind. Right arm up. Square those hips. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, reach forward. Now do this on the other side. I'm reaching forward with my right arm, so I'm like a table. I might have to stop or bend my front knee so I can really feel comfortable. Think of stretching your stomach skin more than you feel like a back bend, literally. Weight goes back. Hold it there, guys. Three, looking good. Now, see if you can put your right hand on your left thigh and push into it. Push your shoulders, your nipples towards the left side of the room. As you do that, your left hip will go forward towards your left shoulder. Push it back to the back of the room. And keep breathing now. Look up if you can, not just relax the head. Four seconds. Three, two, break stuff. Drop the hands down, step it back. Last time down now. Come on, let's do it. Breathe in, lift up of the sequence and down. Two more, breathe in, up. And that's two. Last one, inhale it. Exhale, fold, press. Bounce it back to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and then drop the knees down well done have a break there walk your hands forward come into a child's pose try to get your head either just relaxing and hanging you can put a block under it if that feels good or a cushion just try and breathe here as you breathe in breathe up your spine and as you breathe out, breathe down your spine and then just say those positive affirmations. Breathe in, up the spine, breathe in, out, down. One last, breathe in, breathe. like to practice a little bit of crow into headstand. Um, how's your shoulder feeling? We can go straight into a headstand. If your shoulders are hurting, uh, we can skip dolphin. But at doing dolphin guys, I would recommend doing dolphin, but if your shoulders hurt, I'd say go from crow to headstand. Maybe. Let's go from crow to headstand today. And next week we'll do a dolphin and see if it's improved but it will get better. So let's start with our feet about hip distance apart. When I say crow, you just need to play about with it. And what I would say, as soon as it's us and it's a small group today, if you can get by a wall or a sofa, um, it really helps. And I'll show you why. I really try and walk. Let's see if I can do it here. Can we see it? This is a wall, it's a wardrobe. But what I do is try and get right near it. A sofa also does. You just try and bend your knees. First of all, you need to suss out what distance you need. And then just try and put one foot, bounce there with one up. Pushing it against the wall, the sofa. And then maybe two. Yeah? And then you try it there, it could be a few seconds maybe, maybe not, maybe you have a break, you just hold it there maybe in a, in a squat. If you can, then you go from one to the other, a bit closer to the wall, and then try and drop the head down to that position. How are you feeling? Then talk you through it. If not, the alternative, 
interlace the fingers, press the head down, and stay here, letting blood into your head. Yeah, pushing the floor away with your fingers. So let's go for it. Options are come to the wall, practice your crow on the wall, or come on your elbows with your head down, straight into that hip stand hand position. Try and lift one leg up, then the other. Play back with it. Try to look forward, yes. You need to start looking forward. Push the floor away. That's it. Wow, that looks good. Nice. Got control. Good. I'll give you about 20 more seconds. Good. Yes. You need to be a lot softer with dropping the head. It needs to be like ninja style. It's kind of scary, but you need to look forward and then take your time to look down. Can we do... 20 more seconds, either the head down and the hips high, even if it's a downward dog, guys. Okay, take your time, take your time, yes. That's it. Beautiful, done it, well done. I'm so proud. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight. You could go into a chadu down that I put in there. I'll leave that to practice maybe another day. And then we flow into it now. If not, we'll meet in a plank, yes? So if you've done a downward dog, or if you've been in this position, head down, come into your plank, chaturanga, looking great, guys. Back into grow, nice. Drop it down, breathe in, lift that three times, just like before. Finish the sequence up. Exhale down. Two more. Breathe in it. Exhale two. One more. Breathe in it. And exhale three. I'd like to do a little bit of back strengthening. This is very good for posture. Even though backs, I must say, they're not my favorite, but they're very good, even if you do a little bit of them. So just bring yourself to a position, a cobra position, but this time try and have your hands nearly by your hip bones. Try and stretch your wrist to and then hardly any weight, obviously, on the hands, especially because they're further back. Squeeze the legs together and just try and push your elbows towards the back wall and towards each other. Push the hips down, look up, close your eyes if not, and just breathe there. Try and lift the chest up, push the hips and the top of the feet down. Breathe out, hold it there, two more. Breathe in it. Breathe out. One, breathe it. And it was a musical instrument, very popular. Breathe it out. Drop the head down, turn your head to the right. Drop the hands by your hips and just wiggle them a little bit. Just try and relax. Okay, coming back to the center with the forehead. Hands are going to be in line with your nipples now. A little bit wider than your mat. So quite wide. Yeah. And then we're going to lift up. Lift up. Try and slide the shoulders down. And then hug the elbows in. Squeeze them in towards your legs. Nice. That's looking good, right? And now feel the back of your neck long. Remember that we talked about the back of the body? Make that long. How would you do it? Hugging the tummy just a little bit. Pushing the pubic bone down, maybe. Hugging the lower ribs down. Moving the legs. Breathe in, breathe out, two more. Breathe in, breathe out, last one. As you breathe out with control, lower down, head towards the left shoulder. Just try and relax, hands by your hips, wiggle your hips. Try and have your toes facing in, that will relax your coccyx area. Okay, nice. So we're going to do everything now. So back to the center, we're going to lift everything up. If it's uncomfortable, can you just lift the chest and the arms up? If you can lift the legs, that would be great too. Lifting up the three breaths. Open the chest, look up or close your eyes. Breathe in it. Breathe in. Breathe in it. Breathe in it. Go on, one more. Really try and breathe in, lift higher. Hold it there, lift a little bit higher. And breathe out. Drop the head to the right. 
relax, wiggle, wiggle the hips a little bit. When you're ready, come back with your forehead to the center. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Push your feet down. Push your hips down. Feet up together this time and down. Breathe in. Stretch your arms. Stretch your elbows. And try and reach back with your arms with your fingers as you look up. Breathe in. Push your hips down. Breathe out. Hold it there. Breathe in. Lift your heart up. Breathe out, that's two. Think of your feet, think of the back of your body, long. Breathe out, drop the head. Look towards the left. Just wiggle your hips right and left. Okay, one last one. Well, it's two versions of it. We're going to do a Dhanurasana. So the one we do in Pilates, but it's a bit different. We want to squeeze our legs together. Well, not together, that's the feeling. They can be hip distance apart. And grab outside your ankles. We're doing one outside and then one grabbing inside. This is for strength. So you don't have to lift much. You want your knees about hip distance apart, so as your ankles. And as you breathe in, just try and lift your knees, slide from the floor, and your chest up. Breathe in, look towards your third eye if you can. Breathe out, long neck. Feel the back of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out, squeeze your inner thighs. Nice, one more. Breathe in, let the legs lift you. Go on, let them lift and try and stretch them. And exhale, turn your head to the right. Wiggle your hips. Try and relax the neck. Last one, guys, the left. Yeah, this is going to be very good. This is for hip flexors. Yeah, especially good for that. So let's bring our hands, and this is harder. So you walk them, I'll do it facing you in a second just in case. You start from the back, you walk your arm up, and it stays inside. You grab your big toe. You can do that with both, and I'll do it with both. I go out, I walk them up. And I grab my big toes inside so the soft part of my elbows is facing out towards the sides of the room. Now this is not strength, um, Eddie, I need your, your elbows, the soft part of your elbows to face out. Let me see if I can get it. Can you see, can you see, I should be able to, you should be able to bend that way and not that way. So the way you do it is Put it on the outside, walk up, and then in, and the soft part, yes, that's it. And that should give a little bit more open chest feeling, and also it will let you stretch more. Okay, so here you really want to get the weight onto your chest bone eventually. You're going to breathe in and lift everything up. Your legs can be wider. Let's go up, guys. That's it. Now squeeze your inner thighs. Look up. Look up, then try and shift your weight forward onto your heart bone by lifting your hips up. Go on, just four seconds. Don't drop the head. Lengthen the back of the neck, guys. Go on. Breathe in. Hold it there. Nice. Three, two, one, and drop it down. Well done. Lovely. Turn your head to the left. Careful with those shoulders. Gentle. And just wiggle your hips, that relaxes all the spine and just opens it up, gives it space. Really nice guys, push the floor away, coming into your child's pose. In your time, but try to come through a cat position so you're really mindful about opening, stretching every little bit part of your back. Forehead to the floor one day. Breathe in, try and stretch your stomach on your thighs, relax. Hold it there, three deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe in out. Remember a color or the word. As you're practicing, you can take that to any kind of practice you have, even if you're waiting for the bus. As you breathe, saying something that's an affirmation that's positive, but try and always keep the same words. At least for a few days. Yeah. All colors. 
Last breath in and out. Good. Now, as you walk your hands back, try and walk them towards your ears. And then as you get near to your knees with your hands, grab your head, interlace your fingers, and roll up with your elbows kind of drop in towards the floor, pulling on your head, or you're trying to make a straight spine. And with the weight of your arm, pushing your head down, we're really trying to stretch your spine up. And do a couple of those openings that we often do in our Pilates warm up where you open the chest, you look up, and then exhale and drop the head down. That's once you come to a straight spine, you take your time here. And again, breathe in, lift the chest up, look up, maybe long neck, feel the back of the body. Good. Breathe in, up, drop the head down, shoulders away from your ears, use your core. Last one, breathe in it. And breathe in up. And then just release the hands. Come to a sitting position, go back. We'll do our finishing series. Either a bridge with a block under the hips for the second part of your bridge. So two parts of bridge or a plow. So it depends on your neck and your shoulder, what you do. If you're doing a bridge or here, if you've got a block, first put it in between your legs and hold it in between your legs for a while. Then put it here when we're in shoulder stand in your lumbar spine. If you're doing a plow, get into it. Try and just look for stillness. It's not a comfortable position, but your neck shouldn't hurt. If it does, do your bridge. That's the same thing. It's about getting our heart low and our hips higher than, than our heart. That's one part of the, of the idea of plow and bridge, especially at the end of your practice. But it's also to work the back of the body and the bridge open the front of the body. With your plow, it's just to work also the nervous system on the back. So if you can walk your hands to your lumbar spine if you're in your plow and then lift your legs up. In your bridge you can also do that and I can it's not easy but you could have your hands with your fingers pointing out and your elbows right under yes exactly to the sides of your room and your elbows right under your lumbar spine your hips but it's not easy but it's a nice feeling if you've got a, a wheel you probably could get into it yeah that's a nice one squeeze your elbows towards each other just find that position don't make it too hard for yourself these feet can be hip distance apart be gentle be gentle keep breathing Right. Yeah. Just check the other knee out when you do that. Don't let it win out. Get that inner thigh connection. Okay, if you're in a shoulder stand, feet together, knees open towards the sides, and see if you can come in a namaste position. So, shoulder stand. I'm talking a lot, not doing much. So, that would be your now, shoulder stand. And then knees open into your uh, namaste. At this point, you can come to a child's if you're doing a bridge or a straddle. We're coming into that soon. So you get your knees, maybe your, your hands on your knees, try and find your balance there. And then open into a straddle if you want to from your shoulders back. Palms, we go back to the mat. Bend your knees and just lay yourself back onto the mat slowly. Take your time here. See if you can really flex your feet, bend your knees and grab the insides of your ankles, of your arches, of your feet and just push them down into baby pose, rocking right there. In 
baking toast, the important part is for our feet to face the ceiling. Our natural position would be to have your feet facing the side wall, and that's a different position. You really want to be like in a lunge with your heels right above your knees, and that is hard. And as you do that, try and now push your knees towards the floor by pushing into your feet, keeping your heels high, higher than they want to be, or towards your face a little bit more back, so if that looks better. And then try and unravel your tailbone towards the bottom of your mat. So you don't let your tailbone lift, you're trying to anchor it down. And then you can rock right and left. Just hold it a couple more seconds there. Let's come into a twist to finish off. Squeeze in inner thighs together. Try and just cross your left leg over your right, or vice versa. But if you cross your left leg, you want your top leg, you want to go to the opposite side. So left leg over, your knees go to the right, and you look towards the left. Palms can be up or down, but try and get your arms lower, then what your shoulders are and breathe deeply. I would say that here, try and be passive. That is hard, especially if you're kind of um, active, a dynamic person. So just try and let your breath soften off the position. I often cue you to contract your uh, core, to use your ribs to twist you around. Try not to think of that today. Just breathe, let the weight of your legs just do their work with gravity. So about two more breaths. Coming back to breathing up and down through the spine and those two words or colours. So we go to the other side, come back to the centre. Right leg over left, twist towards the left of your legs. So it's the top leg that's crossed over, the one that's crossed on top, that's where you're, you're going the opposite direction. So the weight of that leg helps you stretch. Yeah? And then try and relax, turn the head, yes, but don't think too much of pausing the position. See how much just gravity helps you and breath. If you are very um, fiddly like me, I like to fiddle a lot. I used to be always told to be still in my in my postures. I still am told. Um, a good way to think is um, your breath being movement. So everything you want to twist to move and turn and look and scratch. Try and just get it over and done with by breathing and moving anything you have to move through your breath. Because usually also twitching, looking in signs of uh, energy blocked, uncomfortableness that comes out in some kind of way. So just see if you can take it out through the breath. I'm not saying it is, but it's a nice way also to think about it. Coming back to center. Squeezing both legs in when you're ready. Just give yourself a hug here. And I'd say listen to your body. We've got about four minutes before six. Um, I do want to do a two minute savasana. But if you want to do anything else, now is the moment. If not, I'll just say try not to stillness. Maybe do a, a couple of positions that feel good and a couple of neck stretches. Anything that's you feel your body needs, maybe just a deep breath in and out, maybe a back bend, a long handstand, a fish, see if you want to do anything else. If you don't, then palms are up, stretch your legs, let your toes point out towards the sides of your mouth. Close your eyes. Before you disconnect, just slide your shoulders down by digging your elbows into the floor and sliding them down that way. And then let your shoulders and knees press, not only away from your ears, but into the floor. Palms up. Close your eyes, but don't force your eyelids close. And just breathe. 
as you breathe out, just let go of anything else you have to let go. And try and just remain in this stillness. And slowly breathe deeply. Starting to work our fingers, our toes. Maybe stretching our arms behind our head to see what feels good. Maybe lengthening the body. Try and turn to the side and then just take a moment there in a fetal position, whatever side this feels good. And then when you're ready, just find a comfortable sitting position. You finish to get a sitting. So just to finish off, 